Hi, this is Donna Lewis, and welcome to Transformed TV. Today on Transform TV, we're talking about a life without limits. The desire of Christ is for you to live a life of purpose and freedom. Think about those two words, purpose and freedom. Ephesians 2.10 tells us that we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works that God prepared ahead of time for us to live out. And then in Galatians 5.1, we're taught that it is for freedom that Christ set us free. So I wouldn't be surprised if you're thinking right now, hey, sounds great, Donna, but how do I access this life of purpose and freedom? As we internalize and meditate on the Word of God, we become transformed into His likeness. Think about it the likeness of the creator of the universe, the creator of you and I, with whom all things are possible. This is how we access the life of purpose and freedom that God prepared for us. Ephesians 4, 23 and 24 reads, You are being renewed in the spirit of your minds, you put on the new self, the one created according to God's likeness in righteousness and purity of the truth. So let me ask you this question. What are some limitations that you have personally come to believe about yourself? I really want you to spend a moment thinking about this. Break out your journal and ask yourself this question. What personal limitations have I come to believe about myself? It's my experience that limitations come in three different forms. Fear-based limitations, religious tradition-based limitations, or shame-based limitations. The first one, being afraid, maybe it's just a little scary. It would mean that we might have to change our job or move to another state or learn a skill that we've never done before. Then there's the religious tradition, things that people place on us, not God's word, not God in his love saying, hey, that's not a good idea hey, that's going to get you into some trouble. Hey, that's not loving or kind. No, these are religious traditions, not based in God's word, but on people's opinion. These can severely limit people. No, women can't do this. Only the men can. Or you've been divorced. That'll never happen. These are not from God. These are from people. And then there's the shame-based limitations. Oh, because I failed in this area, I can never excel again. Because I, I did this thing, oh, that's just not going to happen for me now. Um, it eliminates you. And again, these are all lies. These are all deceptions from the enemy designed to hold you and contain you and restrain you. And these are the things that Christ set us free from. God's word removes all the toxic restraints, liberating us to become the full expression of his grace and truth here on planet Earth. 
This new transformed state of being is life without limits. Those toxic limits gone. Toxic fear destroyed. People's opinions demolished. And shame moved into the depths of the sea, never to be seen again. As we come into this new and beautiful transformed state of being, we are the full expression of God's love, the full expression of his truth, and our destiny is one without limits. As you think about the scriptures that we've been discussing today, being transformed into a new creation, that you are the very workmanship of God created with destiny and purpose in mind, that you were set free by Christ Jesus himself. As you think about these truths, these precious, beautiful truths, and then Look at your dreams, the things that have been on your heart, maybe from the time that you were a small child, but you've believed the lie and it's limited you. Now you're free. Now those toxic limitations have been fully removed. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? How far do you think you can go? Dr. Seuss says, oh, the places you'll go. That is you, my friend. That is you. Tell me how you liked this video. Leave me some comments and I promise you, I will respond to them. Also, Give me a thumbs up, share this with your friends, and hit subscribe. That way you get notifications when every new video comes up. Love you guys, and be transformed.